Chris, you were kind of bumped around last year from role to role, starting out as a reliever, then moving to a starter towards the end, kind of no plan. Just you have a, a dedicated role going into this season, or are you still maybe a little bit up in the air? Um, I'd say everyone's up in the air. I mean, with the new pitching coach, H Coach Hawksworth, I mean, no one really knows. I mean, we're all just going into the fall, trying to get better every day, and it's going to be it's going to be a good fall. The offseason, just overall improvements. What do you what were you looking to, to work on this year, this offseason? Um, I mean, really, it was just trying to get healthy after uh, the Super Regional, just trying to rehab, make sure I'm all healthy and get uh, get stronger in the weight room. And yeah, just, I mean, just get bigger overall. It was a scary looking situation. It seems like maybe you dodged a dodge a bullet. What? Yeah, I definitely definitely got lucky there. Uh, yeah, luckily nothing too crazy. So just, just tried to stay healthy over the summer, take a take a br little break from throwing, and get back to get back to doing what we do. Is that hard? I mean, you're a young guy, exuberant guy. You probably want to be right back out there. What's it like attacking that uh, mindset of okay, I got to be smart, yeah, while also kind of preparing myself as much as I can. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely tough being a young guy. I mean, yeah, I was excited, but yeah, just taking it taking it day by day, making sure. Talk, talking with the coaches, talking with the athletic trainer every day, making sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and not getting not, not getting too off track. So, are, you, are you throwing now? Are you yeah, leading yeah. up to it? Yeah, I've been throwing for a month now and just trying to get back into it, get healthy again and get back to get back to doing doing what we do and have a competitive fall. For all you guys that kinda of got thrown into it last year, just how much did that pay dividends? I mean, just how much more comfortable do you think you guys all feel? And you know, it's hard to compare it if you played less, but just the comfort level you guys feel now coming off last year as younger um, guys. I mean, it's it was a huge it was a huge plus definitely. I mean, we got we got a bunch of guys who got a lot of innings last year, good leaders, and we're still. I mean, we're super we're a super young team this year, but we still got all that experience. I mean, RJ and Isaac coming back is huge for leadership, and I mean, yeah, we're just we got a lot of guys who can provide a, provide their knowledge and experience to the guys coming in. How would you describe those two guys' mindset coming off? You know, not being able to go last year. Um. I mean, they're just they're out they're out for blood. I mean, it was t definitely tough for them just being in the dugout, not being able to do what they're so good at. But I mean, yeah, you can definitely see it, and they're they're hungry, and they're 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 going to lead us very well this year. For you now, a year older at this point, last year, can you kind of compare your comfortability level now during fall practices versus when it was when you were first starting fall practices? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean it's a huge it's a huge difference. Um, I mean, yeah, we just. I mean, you just you know you know what kind of to expect every day, and just know how to help the younger guys. Because I mean, we were all in the same position last year, so we really just kind of we've helped them kind of just take a breath, take a step back, not get too not get too um, get going too fast. Kind of take a step back, take a breath, and get themselves calm, cool, and collected. Do you feel like you're embracing a leadership role on the team now that you've been around for a year and you had some beginnings last year? Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to help trying to help the new guys, the younger guys, as much as I can. Um, kind of provide the knowledge of what like what went through the last fall, what went through last year, and just kind of help them just what to expect. Seems like the, the seniors played a big part in kind of that building that culture to, or in order to have that success in the postseason. Just what are you guys trying to do as a team uh, in order for some players to step up to kind of fulfill that leadership, to try and continue that culture to have another really successful year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the uh, the seniors last year, I mean, Gavin Grant, he's back helping coach this year, which is great. He's definitely going to help. Um, Drew Cowley, Tanner Smith. I mean, Jay Stoffel, Josh Malaris, I mean, all these guys, they're just old. And I mean, now that they're gone, I mean, they've passed on their knowledge to us and we're just going to do the, the best we can to help the younger guys and keep that culture and everything right and keep it going. Do you know what, what role Gav's in? Uh, I do not. I just know that he's helping this year, which is going to be a big help. Well, I said there's only been like a couple bullpens so far. And, but just your overall, your first thoughts on hawk and how he's done as a pitching coach after after andrew left um yeah i mean coach hawkworth he's a great guy he's definitely gonna be a, he's definitely gonna be a good coach i mean we're only a couple days in right now but i mean i can already tell that he he's definitely gonna help this pitching staff a lot and i mean he's gonna he's got a lot of knowledge to pass on i mean he played with clayton kershaw he's, he definitely has knowledge that we can we can absorb and use to the best of our ability if you could go back to yourself a year from now or a year ago um and tell yourself something about before going into this whole experience that maybe you're going to give on to uh, some of the next freshmen. What would it be? Any piece of advice? Um, I'd say just to enjoy it. I mean, like everyone says, it goes by super fast. And I mean, it truly does. And you just kind of have to t sometimes take a step back and just kind of look around and enjoy and be like appreciative of where you are. I mean, we're blessed to be in this, be in this position. I mean, that's really, yeah, just, just enjoy it.